On November 23rd, 2020, I released a video titled Fasting Increases Inflammation. And while I admit the title is conflictory and attention grabbing, it actually wasn't clickbait. Fasting really did increase inflammation, as shown by the scientific evidence therein. Unfortunately, many people didn't understand the video because they came away thinking that was a negative outcome, that an elevated level of inflammation was a negative. But the video is actually describing something incredibly cool that I had never seen before. Something to date that I have only seen in this study on water fasting. Evidently, I either did a poor job explaining things or some people just became reactionary to a title that they thought was the headline of a hit piece on their beloved modality of fasting. Either way, I always wanted to revisit the topic because ever since that video's release, I've looked for evidence to corroborate the findings of this study. Well, I have some updates coming from another study that I'd like to share with you if you'll allow me. In brief, the video describes something that happens in your fat tissue when you water fast, meaning you drink only water and electrolytes, nothing else. So if we zoom into your fat tissue, which is made up of adipocytes, that's fat cells, that house vast depots of fat molecules known as triglycerides, we can look at the enzymatic reactions that allow or disallow fat molecules in and out of the cells. Basically, if your adipocytes take up more fat molecules, triglycerides, then they release, then the fat depot increases and the adipocyte enlarges. If this happens millions of times over, the fat tissue across your body enlarges and we become fatter. Pretty simple. But the enzymes, especially the primary enzyme known as hormone-sensitive lipase, operate at a particular speed, meaning that if you need to expel fat molecules from the adipocytes, your fat cells would then upregulate or create more hormone-sensitive lipase, like a company's warehouse over the holidays. As demand increases, more workers need to be present to work at maximum capacity to ship out the packages as quickly as possible. The warehouse is the adipocytes, the workers are the enzymes, and the packages are the triglycerides. However, since water fasting is literally the fastest way, pun unintended, for someone to lose body fat because it necessitates a state of complete abstinence from food or any other form of energy-dense nutrients, the adipocytes are unable to release triglycerides fast enough, or at least that was my interpretation of the study. As such, something extremely fascinating happens. This is where the inflammation component comes in. According to this study, the researchers identified a relationship between immune cells and fat cells. Specifically, they showed this. The researchers have taken fluorescent images of cells and identified multiple components of the cell by the fluorescent color. So, the blue is a marker of macrophages, an immune cell found in the innate immune system. These cells are found throughout our body and scavenge for anything suspicious. The white is a marker of DNA, essentially showing where the nucleus is. The red is another marker of macrophages. And finally, the green is a marker of fat molecules. What you'll notice is that these immune cells contain mass depots of fat, much like adipocytes. To take this further, the researchers treated these cells, which are found hanging out around adipocytes, with an inhibitor of the adipocyte enzymes that break down fat molecules and release them into circulation. Remember a uh, hormone-sensitive lipase? This one is another that is in that general family of enzymes. They ended up determining that the macrophages were insensitive to this inhibitor, as seen here. Now, that might have you thinking that there is no relationship between the fat depot found in the fat cells and the fat depot now discovered in the immune cells, the macrophages. But not so fast, my friend. To test this one step further, looking at some further images known as electron microscopy images, we can see an adipocyte doing something strange. 
What we see here is an adipocyte fat molecule depot called a lipid droplet in the expansive white. That whole thing is filled with thousands of triglycerides, fat molecules. The dark edges to the right are the section of the cell membrane. This is the edge of the adipocyte. The blue arrows show a budding of vesicles containing fat molecules from the giant lipid droplet, the depot. In red, we see miniature versions known as exosomes, meaning these are mini droplets of triglyceride containing vesicles destined to be released from the cell. But to where? I'm sure you've made the link by now. That's right, to the immune cells in the region. This data, along with more from the study, indicates that adipocytes release miniature fat droplets filled with fat molecules through a mechanism that is independent of the standard mechanism that we usually consider known as lipolysis, which is the term for the use of the hormone-sensitive lipase for the release of fat molecules. Instead, or in addition to the use of the common lipolysis, adipocytes are shipping out large depots of fat molecules directly to macrophages, these immune cells, that is pretty freaking cool. But why? Well, that's where we can get into a bit of fun in our speculations. My interpretation, if we return back to the water fasting study, is that macrophages help in the breakdown of fat depots because the adipocytes are struggling to dump fat molecules quickly enough to feed the system, meaning the rest of the body. Remember, much of the fat molecules used for energy during a fast come from your adipocytes dumping fat into the bloodstream to be sucked up by the other cells of your body, since blood glucose levels are low. In this study, there is a little bit of data on that. Looking again at electron microscope images, we can see a macrophage clearly displayed. The dark splotch in the middle is the nucleus of the cell, and the white arrows are indicating triglyceride-filled lysosomes. If you aren't familiar with the lysosomes, they're a critical part of the autophagy pathway and allow the cell to degrade, break down, large groupings of molecules and organelles. So the reason I mention an increase in inflammation is multifold. One, the number of macrophages, inflammatory cells, when activated, are elevated in the fat tissue of the people who are water fasting, as seen here. Each dot is a participant of the study, and the connecting line is a way for you to see the difference before, so baseline, and during the fast. Clearly, all the participants experienced an increase in this immune cell infiltration. Additionally, multiple inflammatory markers like interleukin-10, C-reactive protein, TNF-alpha, and interleukin-6 all increased with fasting. So, yes, fasting, increased, inflammation. But is it necessarily a bad thing? Well, I would posit that we really need to stop thinking of inflammation as a black and white, a good or bad, but rather contextualize it, much like most things in the body. But that's my hypothesis. Even with this data, we do not have enough to indicate strongly that I'm right. I could be wrong, and there is some other reason for this elevated infiltration of immune cells into the fat tissue. So, what do you think? Is there some other explanation that you might put forward? Let me know. If you're interested in more of this kind of content, I'd encourage that you check out uh, this other video of mine, I think you'll enjoy it, and I hope to speak with you soon.